Five minutes on Google, right? I can find, I can put my name in, I can find hundreds of people all slagging me off. I'm going to read out some quotes now, five minutes on Google. <laughs> These are real, right? In the context of the show, you have to appreciate this. The first four quotes from Americans that I read out, uh, three of them were real, I only made one up. <laughs> The letters, people complaining about Islam, they were exaggerated versions of real ones I've had. The quote from the guy in Dubai, that was real, verbatim. And then the, uh, all the things about the Jungle Canyon road bridges, they were real political speeches from the past. <laughs> but I replaced the policy things in them. <laughs> yeah. From, from the Scooby-Doo, yeah. Okay, these are all real five minutes on, on Google. Can I have the uh, jazz music and the lighting change, please? <laughs> uh, Rowing Rob on The Guardian's Comment is Free site calls me a sneering tosser. <laughs> Tokyo Fist on YouTube writes, Smug elitist liberalism, who is this cunt? <laughs> Warto15 on Twitter writes, I hate Stuart Lee with a passion. He's like Ian Huntley to me. <laughs> Huey on YouTube says, Stuart Lee, I will shove my thick cock in your throat, you gay lord. <laughs> Z Factor on Twitter writes, Stuart Lee addresses an insular cadre of socially challenged, prematurely middle-aged, pseudo-intellectual men. <laughs> I, I know, yeah, not, <laughs> not as exclusively as I'd like, to be honest. <laughs> but, but, uh, it, won't, it won't, it'll just be us again soon. It won't last. <laughs> it can't last. We're back to one night and then be all right. Uh, a Pudabaya writes, I spent the entire show thinking of how much I want to punch Stuart Lee in his face. The fucking smug face cunt. <laughs> and that's on a website that is actually called beexcellenttoeachother.com. <laughs> a Jimmy Vesper on don'tstartmeoff.com writes, a shit-haired cunt <laughs> who resides at the very apex of all that is absolute patience-testing wank. <laughs> Seriously, when there is the comedy equivalent of the Nuremberg trials, <laughs> this bastard is going to be hung from the highest fucking lamppost, <laughs> pelted with wasps' nests and dog turds, <laughs> and eventually blasted with a flamethrower. <laughs> Fucking hell, he concludes. I can't put into words... <laughs> ..how much I detest this utter fucking cunt. <laughs> Man in a banana suit on The Guardian site writes, Stuart Lee has made a career out of smugness, I hope fucking Crohn's disease kills him. <laughs> a Ricardo writes, whenever I see his photo, I dream he's just seen my boot a split second before it rips his face inside out. <laughs> Shindig on the dugout.net calls me an aging cunt <laughs> with an Eskimo face from the 90s. <laughs> One from Mum's Net here. <laughs> Queen of the Harpies says, My mate had a huge crush on Stuart Lee, 
but even she's starting to admit time hasn't been kind to her. <laughs> uh, and this one's from a, a Sheffield football website, and it says, I know this guy, not well, but I can confirm that he is a cock. <laughs> I've spoken to him several times in the past at various get-togethers, although not recently, and he is a pillar. <laughs> he used to go out with my wife's cousin. He came up a few times for Christmas and one or two other things. I found him condescending and arrogant. Anyway, they've split up now and my wife's cousin seems a lot happier. <laughs> Know who that is, obviously. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> I used to, the funny thing is, I used to really like I like that guy, you know. And I, <laughs> guy, is your cousin's husband going to be there at Christmas? Oh, great, you know, game of. Wedding present he used to like, he used to get him his records. <coughs> then you find that ten, ten years later you find that, you know. He <laughs> <laughs> used to go out and go out with him. <laughs> went to the, we went to the hyena club in Newcastle one. 1999, November, to see uh, Lewis Schaefer, American comic, and uh, then we went in the comics bar, you know, until about three, with him, you know, you want a drink, mate? Yeah, brilliant, you know, great. Then you see, you think, what, what was he actually thinking, you know? <laughs> You don't get that, do you, in your lives? You don't get it. You, what's done is done. It doesn't come back. His mum, right? The, the guy who wrote, wrote that's mum. I had her to stay with me for about a week in London. When I, when I lived in the flat above the estate agents by the fire station, if you remember that. <laughs> Not a big flat. You know? She was on some, some course. She was like an old hippie. I really liked her, actually. I remember it was a Saturday afternoon and I was putting some old bed together and I had a record on. She was there. I had an old vinyl. The second album by Dr. Strangely Strange, Irish folk rock band, the 70s. And his, his mum that wrote that, his mum, she, she goes, oh, I used to love this record. When I was a kid, I haven't heard it for 30 years, and she knew all the words, and, you know. And this was before downloads and CD reissues and stuff, and I, and I said to her, you can have it. And I, I gave the mum of the guy that wrote that <laughs> my original island pressing pink label gatefold sleeve second Doctor Strangely Strange album, like a cock would. <laughs> That's a condescending thing to do, isn't it? To give an old woman something of irreplaceable value <laughs> that she would love. This isn't even, this is just some. I've got, I've got a 40,000 word document of all this. Because <laughs> I thought it'd be funny, look on the internet, see for a bit in the show. But I, I didn't realise that there would be so much. <laughs> it's like pulling a thread. You start, you can't, and, it, and, and everything unravels. <laughs> and knowing, knowing this is all there, it makes it quite hard to do this if you think about it, right? <laughs> you think, oh, I'll just go out in the world, interact with some people, have a lot. Don't walk out during this.
this is bad, right? It's bad for someone to say they hope you die on, on the internet, but that is worse. <laughs> What is it about this bit that you don't buy into? You think, oh, I don't feel he's working hard enough, really. <laughs> the fuck are you? <laughs> you? You go out now, do you? You think, oh... I mean, this is obviously nearly the end of the show, isn't it? <laughs> Cover it from this. <laughs> oh, I'll go out for it. I'll come back in when it's funny again. It won't be. It's not going to be funny again, is it? You, get, you can't. You know, you're being a comic when you know you're under surveillance by people that despise you. It's quite hard. You think, oh, I'll go out in the world, interact with some people, get some ideas, have a laugh with them. Go in the shop, have a laugh with the bloke, bit of banter, get home, you know, get some money, get home, you look on, on the internet, a fucking cunt came in my shop today. <laughs> he reminded me of a paedophile. <laughs> that would kill a child. I hope he, get, he dies from a wasting disease. And all cocks go in his mouth. <laughs> a fucking Eskimo faced cunt. <laughs> and it's all there, all out there. And you say, don't you? I've seen you. You go, look at us, virtual online, Facebook friends, Twitter community, virtual online utopian vision of tomorrow's better. What are you? <laughs> You're like rats fighting in a ditch. <laughs> Over some piss. <laughs> so, you'll forgive me if there isn't really much of a show this year. <laughs> just sort of stops. <laughs> we went up at... Uh, we went up at... Uh, I've done, I've, I've done the, the time that we were supposed to. <laughs> it, there are already people walking out, it's not... Just do a quick little bit and then we can go. <laughs> 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 